His Chinese record label didn't want to support it, but that didn't stop Mando pop singer Gary Chow in releasing Sensation, an English jazz album. Contrary to the title of his last album, Back in Control in 2010, the Mandarin pop star left the industry for about two years. Speaking to Razy TV from M Hotel, he explained it was pressure from the industry. I was turning into to a machine, right, in a way. Right. You know, I was turning into something I, I've never ever, I never liked in the first place, which was being a product. The CD can be a product. But the soul of the CD, which is the music, cannot be the product. The artist, the writer, I mean, it, 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 you can have an image on it, you know, you can put a price on it, but at the end of the day, it, it is not a product. It, yeah. You gotta respect that. And then I felt like I've lost that respect from uh, the business side of things, you know? I felt like um, I was turning into more like a puppet. I didn't like that. When people say you have to do this, I said, no, I don't have to do this. Since coming up into the Mendo scene around 2006, the Malaysian-born Taiwan-based singer has won awards and accolades like the Golden Melody Award for Best Mandarin Singer in both 2007 and 2008. Now back with a jazz English album, Gary attributes this newfound verve for music to his collaboration with a band, something he says he always wanted to do and something which he needed. Dude, I got inspired so much by doing this project and I needed, I needed this. I needed to do something that I felt that I wanted to do, so I did it. The spark in me for, for, for songwriting came back. I started writing great, great songs again. I've always wanted to be in a band. I feel like I belong in a group. Sometimes because of the business side of things, it wasn't good for business, you know, the marketing side of things. So, um, but for the, for the past two years, I met the right people. I met them. And then and it was the right time for me. I, I, I felt like I was mature enough to, you know, to insist on right. what I wanted to do, which was to, to start this Project Sensation thing. Right. And then um, I, I spoke to two Asher, like uh, Michael Tu, and I said, okay, it's about time. I really got to do this, and I want to insist on this. And I want to forget about what the label thinks. Right. I'm just going to do it. Gary met the rest of the band members through Michael Tu, the same producer-songwriter who brought Gary to Taiwan about 11 years ago, kick-starting his music career. In 2007, the three other members, Argentinians Martin Musa and Lautara Balucha, and Brazilian drummer Adriano Moreira met in Shenzhen, China. Shortly after, Musa reached out to his music contacts while he was in Beijing. Michael Tu answered and introduced Musa to Gary's music. And then it was just a matter of time until Michael brought them together. Sometimes he gets, the beat gets harder and then we understood what he's coming up, right. what, what, what he's feeling like, and then support. They, we all transform. So that is very this connection, kind of finger can do that, you know. This is a connection which is priceless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not just practice that no. gets it. This is, this is something that it's, it's, I don't know what it is. Although Gary was excited about his new project, his record label was expecting another Mandarin album, giving him a deadline to adhere to. Gary's rebellious nature surfaced and he decided to do things his way, pulling together his and Michael Tu's resources despite not knowing if the album would ever be released. So this, they, they give me a schedule that you have to write this song, you gotta record, you gotta come out at this time. You know, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I'm like, no, I don't have to do anything. So I was like quite rebellious. No disrespect, sure you know, to, to, to the business side of things. They thought it was not a good marketing uh, thing right. for you know, for, for, for uh, Gary Chow, this Chinese pop singer, to, to all of a sudden uh, disappear uh, out of the, the music scene for a year and a half or two years, and then all of a sudden come back in and doing English and jazz and not solo, and is a band. It was, like, it was risky for them. They, they, they felt it was risky. With a few investors who believed in the project, the album was released, and Sensation debuted at number one in Taiwan, something which even the band didn't expect. The Sensation band has since been touring the world promoting the new release, and next month they play to about 10,000 people at the Hong Kong Coliseum, a number which pales in comparison to their first gig to just about 30 people. And even though it's a long way to go before their next release, I managed to get the band to drop a name of a potential musical guest. You can't say anyone, any names now? Nothing's confirmed yet? Maybe just drop a few names, maybe? Elton John? Elton John. Only Elton John. Only Elton John. <laughs> Only Elton John. <laughs> Elton... 
Elton John? Oh. <laughs> you don't want to say it, but it's almost... <laughs> Up next, from bad boy to humbled father, Gary Chow talks about how his children teach him every day to become a better man.